Okay, so I'm continuing my Insadong vlog. Um, this is Cafe Bora, and I have been wanting to go here ever since I moved to Seoul. So it took me a year to actually come here. But it's located in Pukchon Hanok Village, and they actually have a location in LA. So I've seen this uh, dessert on Instagram, this purple potato dessert, and I have been wanting to eat here forever because it's so. It's so pretty and I love purple potato and it looks like something that wouldn't be super sweet and I don't like those ultra sweet desserts. So I dragged my husband here once and it was closed and then um, when we came here today it was finally open. <laughs> so what you see is a purple potato shaved ice, purple potato ice cream and that little tower has extra cream in it and some purple, purple potato chips on top. And then after we ordered this, we saw that there was um, a tiramisu and my husband wanted to try it. So we also ordered the tiramisu, which will be coming a little later in this video. And then I think my husband and sister-in-law also ordered uh, just regular Americanos, which I mean, at places like this, you don't really need to order a latte because your dessert is already super sweet and in this case, milky. How about you, Valentina? You like it? Like it or no? Yummy or no yummy? Yeah. Mm. How about you? It's like um condensed milk ice. It's kind of a milky ice. And this is like purple sweet potato cream. And these are little crispy things, so it's just like a perfect combination. I think it's more of that cream. Oh. Probably when you're done eating the top, you put it on. What's this thing? I don't know. What? Oh. How'd you find out about this place? Instagram. Found out about it on Instagram. What's Instagram? I searched for like Seoul Desert Pepe or something like that. I don't remember. I just searched the hashtags. Oh, Valentine, your sleeves. Oh my goodness. Do you see it? Eat it, eat it. Eat it, eat it. Is it good or not good? What? Uh, <laughs> Which one's your favorite? Not this one. <laughs> okay, we'll get that all. Yummy, My favorite is the shaved ice. Then I like the ice cream and then the tiramisu. But the tiramisu is actually the most expensive out of all three. That is an ice cream. Oh, is that so? No. Who's that? It's a wallaby. Oh, okay. This is George. This is George. And this is Peppa. A George and Peppa? Mommy, baby. <laughs> so my sister-in-law wanted to go shopping at Express Bus Terminal, which is a underground shopping center uh, near Shinsege in Gangnam. And this is a really great place to shop for women's clothing. They just have like a long aisle of like tons and tons of women's clothing stores and shoe stores and handbag shops and there are a few kids stores sprinkled here and there but this is my favorite place to shop for cheap women's clothing the quality you can probably compare to like forever 21 so you definitely get what you pay for and you might want to hand wash your products and not put them in the dryer if you want to pro pro prolong their life so for dinner we decided to go to the next station over and have this um, dinner at this really famous dokboki place um, and this neighborhood is called Banpo and it's a really old neighborhood but um, it's very sought after to live in because 
the schools here are really good so it's very expensive even though the buildings and the housing are really old so at this um, in this neighborhood like there's a few restaurants but every single like shop on the second floor of this building complex or along the street these are all um, after school educational programs for kids like maybe SAT classes or some sort of tutoring for school this looks like we have like chili noodles, ramen, uh, cabbage, and some spicy sauce. Oh, this is super vintage. It's like a hole in the wall, and we got the last seat, so I'm excited. <laughs> It's really good. <laughs> so savory and sweet and spicy. It's fried mayo with spicy sauce. Coated in like cold, but it's still good. Interesting. So this restaurant is definitely not kid friendly, number one, because there's nothing here for kids to eat because everything is spicy, but also it's like very packed here. If you want drinks here, you can't order at the table. You have to go to the vending machine yourself and purchase it. So you have to have, um, change. This would be really good because it's a milky yogurty drink. So that will be really refreshing after eating spicy food. And as you can see here, this restaurant is full of like kids, probably uh, students who are just getting done with their test prep classes and coming to eat. When we came, we got the last seat, but um, when I went to get the drinks, there was a line that was just going out the door. It's pretty insane. <laughs> It's like a carbonated, milky yogurt drink. Okay. So we were so stuffed that we were unable to get this, but this looks amazing. What this lady does is she makes you uh, spicy fried rice with the leftover sauce from your tteokbokki by just adding a ball of rice and some seaweed. And they do this in a lot of restaurants in Korea. So I'm just creeping on the people who were next to us because they got this dish because um, we didn't get it ourselves. Next time I go, I'm going to try not to eat so much and hopefully I can also order this because that looks so good. So this restaurant is super casual. It's super low-key. You get your own napkins and water refill and I think for the two of us, it was like less than $20, maybe like $17-ish or something like that. So glad that we came when we did because now the line is out the door. We got like the last seat. And yeah, we came at exactly the right time. This place was really good. Okay, the back. Oh. The neighborhood doesn't look that great, but my sister in law was saying that, like, pretty much every building here um, housed some sort of academic prep class. So it was probably pretty safe. <laughs> 